Oh, uh, I didn't know that. One. <laughs> yes, we're definitely, definitely ready for Duke. We've been practicing hard, getting after one another, so we just prepare. What does that name mean to you, Duke? The idea of playing them on national television up in uh, a building like that. It's always been a school that, you know, as a kid I've always looked at, you know, it's always been a high major school, always been a top school, and, uh, you know, be able to play against someone like that, it's just, you know, it's a, I think it's a blessing for us, it's a blessing to me, and, you know, you know, also want to go out there and play as hard as you can and want to beat them. Dude, what do you think some of the keys to the game are going to be? Uh, defending, defending the perimeter, because they're going to want to drive it at us, you know, especially with the new rules, so we're going to have to make sure, you know, we don't, we don't get in foul trouble and we defend. Are you going to look to drive even more because of the, the new rules? You've always been a real aggressive penetrator. Are you going to look to do that even more now? Uh, definitely. Coach been, Coach been getting after me in practice to drive the ball and be aggressive. So I got to make sure I keep the same mindset when we get out there to do the same thing. You know, I got to find my teammates and I also have to be able to be aggressive and score myself. Are you extra hungry since you didn't play last game? Yeah, I'm real hungry. Especially uh, being sitting out that last game and watching the team play. You know, it was hard, but... You know, that's, a, that's something, that's a decision that I made, and I did a bad decision. But, you know, time goes on, so I'm just going to be ready to go out and play. Anything well, you're able to pick up when you sit out like that that you're able to kind of see? Uh, there was a lot I was able to watch. You know, just, you know, I was able, able to help out Frank as much as I can. And, you know, also the big guys. It's, it's different being on the bench and being able to see the whole game. You know, I get to see, like, everything that was going on. So as the game, as the game was going on, I was able to help guys out as best as I can. Do you anticipate having to calm some of the younger guys' nerves on Tuesday? Uh, I think that nerve stuff is out the window now. You know, we played, we played a couple games already. We practiced. I don't think anybody's nervous anymore. I think they're just ready to play as well. So I don't, I don't see anybody nervous at all. So they're just ready to go. What do you think of Cook? Uh, he's a good point guard. You know, I played against him summer and as a kid. You know, DC Assault, I played with the New England players. We always went at it. But, you know, he's a friend of mine, but not, to, not on Tuesday. Here are the, uh, the last two times you've been in the Champions Classic, you guys haven't been able to win. Is that a little bit of motivation? You don't want to lose three in a row in this thing? Definitely. Uh, you know, it's, first it was uh, Kentucky my freshman year. That was a tough loss for us. And then Michigan State last year that, uh, you know, we, we had the game in my hands and, you know, we let it slip. So, you know, that was the past. So I don't, I don't think about that. You know, I'm just going to worry about Tuesday and this team that we have right now and get it done. There are always kind of marquee game, games when you play at Kansas. Do you have to tell, though, any experience you can give to the, to the younger guys while playing one of these kind of showcase type games? Uh, you might not get another chance. Well, I can't say that with these guys, but, you know, you, it's one chance to be able to play, you know, United Center or somewhere like that. And, you know, everybody's going to be watching that game. So you just want to go out there, have fun, let it loose, and, you know, just give it all you can. When you went to that pro am, did you hang out with Jamari at all in Chicago? Yeah, that's that's who uh, that's who told me to go down with him. I came down with Jamari, so that's who I was with the whole time. Did you play against any good players? Uh, yeah, we played. I played against uh, a couple of dudes from overseas. I think two dudes from the NBA. You know, it was fun, but I, that's a good question, my man. <laughs> Are you guys ready? I mean, for, for prime time, I mean, would it be better if this team could play two or three more games, get some more experience? You have so many young guys, you know, trying to learn learn the system and learn the game. Uh, you know, that's a good question because I feel like, you know, the practices that we had, I feel like we've been getting into it more in practice than when it comes time for the games. But this is a game that's going to be able to show, you know, how bad guys really want it and how ready they are. But from, you know, the last couple of practices we had recently, you know, all I've seen is guys going after it. You know, Wiggins getting on the floor. Everybody just showing a different type of mindset. So I think guys, guys are starting to understand how you know how important this game is going to be. When you guys are watching the tape together and someone bends over at the waist to pick up a loose ball, what happens in that room? Does the coach stop it and say, "Look, if you bent over at the waist, you got to dive on the floor"? Yeah, he just does, he doesn't say it with with that, but you know he's much more aggressive and he likes to be known. You know that's that's not how we play here. You watch recent players and you watch you know before the game you watch that highlight video that we have. You see guys diving on the floor, pumping their chest. You know, they just have to show more passion. And I feel like guys, you know, I wouldn't say trying to be cool, but, you know, not really understanding what it really is here and understanding, you know, the people that came here, the people that play here, you know, you got to show more than, than just going out there and shooting some hoops. You and know, then you, when you're in practice, and like you said, uh, uh, Andrew Wiggins is diving on the floor, 
do you guys say say anything to him when you see him? Yeah, we, we, def we definitely we definitely say something, you know, because you know at the beginning of the year I felt like he was much more laid back, but he's starting to understand, you know, he's gonna have to start doing more. He's gonna have to start showing more, and you know everybody. I feel like everybody's gonna be against him, and he got to prove, you know, we're on his side. He got to prove the world, you know, that he is the best player. How do you tell these young guys about the different level of intensity from playing, you know, the, the exhibition games, the first regular season game, and all of a sudden it's Duke, more of a tournament field kind of game? Uh, this is just going to get us prepared, you know, for, you know, long, for the, when the season goes longer, you know, Big 12 tournament and, and as well as, you know, later on in the season. So this is going to be the type of game that guys are going to have to just come out and give it all. You know, we can't take any plays off. Every play matters. And if guys come on with that mindset, you know, I think we can do what we need to do. Was it something that you just had to experience, even though veterans were telling you about it? Or do you are you able to give the young guys and be like, this is completely different than anything you've experienced so far? Easily. I just told them this is not, you know, this is not going to be anything like playing in the McDonald's game or the Jordan game or any high school championship that you played. And this is, this is much more bigger than that, and it's much more bigger to the school than anything. What um, what do you know about Jabari Parker? Have you followed his kind of high school career at all? And played one game, obviously in college. Did you get a chance to watch the, the Davidson game at all? Uh, yeah, I watched some film on it. He's you know he's an aggressive player. Every play, you know, on the offensive end, defensive end, he's going hard. From what I've seen in the video, so you know he's not going to let up at all. He's going to be right at us, and we have to come out with just as much aggressiveness that he is. Can you talk about the fact that this is the kind of game that attracts? people like you to a school like this? Yeah, definitely. Uh, as a kid, you know, I watch games like this. I watch, you know, Duke in Kentucky, Duke in North Carolina, you know, Kansas, and whoever they play. You know, these are the, these are the highlight games of the year. These are the games that, you know, that's going to be able to put us on the map as a team as and get everybody to understand, you know, we are we are the team that, the top five team. Thanks, Tom. All right.